Hello, I'm Morris Dimba, and today we are going to create uh, drawings from this V-shaped flag type billboard, and let's get started. This is our model, and uh, we want to, to generate drawings from this model. First of all, we start with uh, an elevation, then we go to assembly drawing, and we'll use the template from uh, Master Catalog. I'll go straight to drawings and report for me to be able to access uh, the master catalog templates. I'll click on create drawings here, then pick on the first option, master drawing catalog, and give it time to load. Here we are, uh, the master catalog drawing, master drawing catalog has loaded, but not fully, we'll just still give it time. And you can go ahead and uh, and start uh, creating the drawing. First of all, we start with the elevation, and we'll use this template, the GA here. We will pick on the GA drawing here, or we can. Uh, we have options here. We have uh, uh, fabrication drawings, including single parts on assembly drawings and excluding parts on assembly drawings. These two options you can pick. That is for assembly drawings or fabrication drawings. Now there are also stored such as here we have single parts drawing uh, clone temp cloning templates. You can, let me open this. You can also check on these. Let me just open this. We have the templates here or uh, uh, cloning templates. And for now we are going to work with the we are going to work with the GA. We want to create to generate the, uh, the the elevation view and and now i'll pick on this option here uh the steel ga elevation i'll pick on that once i've done that i'll go straight and and initiate the drawing creation by clicking this create drawings button or tab here Perfect. Now we are going to pick on the grid. We want to define on which grid do we want to create an, our elevation from. We want to create an elevation from grid one. We'll pick on grid one. The grid one is this one that will be facing. The camera will be on this side. So we will, we will be facing the side of this, uh, of this billboard. Now we'll pick on grid one here. Once we've picked on the grid, we'll go straight and click on create. Perfect, a drawing has been created and now we want to follow it up on the drawing list here. We'll just go ahead and click on drawing list and we'll have our drawing listed inside this drawing list window. To open, just double click on it and give it time to load or open the drawing. Okay, here is our drawing. Now we'll go ahead and minimize this. We, we you should not close this because the moment you close this you'll get rid of the master uh, the master drawing catalog we'll just leave it hanging or uh, stay around now this is our elevation from grid one and uh, we are seeing nothing at all now we'll double click on this we on this uh, uh square double click on that frame then that will take us to the view properties you want to uh, increase the, the 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 view depth by uh, you come straight to the the depth down down here then uh, we will inc we'll increase this to uh, 3.5 and increase this to 3.5 also and go ahead and click modify there we are and we'll go ahead and click apply and accept and prior to doing that it looks small compared to the size of our, of our title block or title block frame now we want to increase this scale the scale here you can see it is you can see it is 75 1 to 75 we want to make it slightly bigger so we take this to 50 1 to 50 and uh, try and click modify to accept the changes if st if still not acceptable or still not mm, working out so well we can change that it's still small and this is slightly better now 
uh, click on uh, the left button and hold and drag the moment you see the four arrows means the the drag command or the move command is active and uh, let me just position it properly and I'll drag it like that and still we can make it slightly bigger by just double clicking on it just to activate these v, proper v properties window we can make it slightly bigger by, by changing that to 30 and that will be slightly big that will be will, will stretch way out of our title block frame that's slightly much better let me just uh, push it slightly away this position is quite okay no problem just leave it there and we want to get rid of these uh, grid lines extensions now to get rid of the of those just come straight to applications and components not applications and components we come to label here then now uh, we go with the first option that button a1 this will take us to mark content properties now what we want to uh, do here we want first of all to get rid of this a single word grid line it, it doesn't give an a clear explanation of what elevation is this we we need we need we, we want to add some wording here now we'll just to do that we'll get rid of this view name we'll, uh, once you've selected in it just come to remove button remove it then we'll click on text and add text here you'll realize the moment you click on text and add it it will not appear here it will prompt you with a mark content text dial, uh, dialog box or window inside here write the the description of your elevation here but the word we want to feed here is elevation from grid one and that is it the way I've just pronounced it is the way I'm going to write it here. Elevation. Elevation. Elevation from grid one. From grid line one. Grid line one. A space and that. Grid line one. And that's all. I'll go ahead and click OK. Then you'll see that appearing inside here. Now, to change the color of the text, first of all, you have to select the text. Then come here and pick and, and click that drop down arrow and select on the appropriate color you want to apply on your text. I'll, I'll work with the black so because when you print this, it will have that color black. But the background is black, so the color you'll see here is white, which it's okay. I'll come to the font. Font also, I'll give it black. And the font size i'll give it five will be okay then the, the font type i'll click on that uh, button just next to font and this will take will take me to another dialog box where i'll be able to pick on the appropriate font or font style I'll just give it time to load or process the information then we'll be able to pick on the on the option that we prefer now i'll just type the roman d here this is my usual text i'll pick on the roman d then i'll give it a bold I'll, I'll, I'll allow it to pronounce itself out. I'll pick it bold and click OK. I'll come here and, and give it and click a, a modification button and click apply and accept that. And come here and do the same thing. And you, you, you will realize it's not taking effect. We'll double click on it once again and we'll come back here. And we do the same thing. We we'll remove this and uh, bring back this and type the words elevation, elevation, elevation from grid one, from grid line one, grid line one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and click OK. Then select on the text. Once I've done that, I'll just go ahead and click modify perfect I'll apply and I'll give it a node by clicking OK right there once that is done I'll come back here and apply and give it an OK 
then once again if you take a look here the text looks small which looks good i'll double click on, on it once again just to increase the font size i'll come to label here label tab and click on that redo button then select on the text then i'll, I'll increase this to eight eight will make it stand out giving out the information of this drawing and that's all i'll click ok perfect now 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 i want to get rid of this grid i'll change the color let me just change the colors uh, change the color first of all i have to double click on the grid then uh, there's options here if you want to you want the grid to be visible you have these options you can uh, click on only grid labels visible you can pick on that and the moment you click modify you can be able to see all, all the grid labels are visible and and also if you can get rid of the grid labels also you can see everything is disappearing and they get rid of that everything will disappear we'll have only only the dimensions we just bring them back want them to be visible but the color will change we'll come to grid line and uh, click on that the color also will change that to black and click modify and see how this is coming out perfect perfect now the next step what we want to do now is now to increase uh, the size of our dimension text to do that just take a look what i'm going to do just uh, i'll select all these tag uh, all these dimensions and uh, select this one also while while pressing the control button i'll double click on the last selection and uh, wait for the window for these uh, dimensions dimensions property window to come up and from here i'll be able to change the properties of the of, of the dimensions now i'll change the color to to black and uh, i'll slightly increase the size of this text and uh, the, the font style also i'll change to roman d i'll pick on that but this time around i'll not give it a bold uh, uh style i'll just go ahead and click ok and uh, and and click let me first of all change the the line type you give it that i'll apply here and give it an acceptance by clicking on ok right there i've changed this and uh, I, I i left this out so i'll come here and do a similar thing double click on that then come to appearance here and change this to black and uh, this text also change it to six and uh, the font style or the font type will give from roman, roman d and uh, we'll go ahead and click ok uh, modify and prior to click modify make sure everything is uniform in terms of dimension style apply and accept that here we are and we have this in place have this in place and we can slightly click on this and drag it aside so if you drag it this side perfect and we have this in place we can convert this or send it to pdf or print it on a virtual printer pdf format and this can be shared shared to whoever that to any person that is not conversant with the tecla structures and can interpret drawings by sending this to him or her in a pdf format to do that is quite simple and i've done that repetitively and you can just you can come here and click on on the file here and click print once you click print just give it some minutes and it will load and present you with a, a printing window where you'll be able to feed in your settings where the paper size and uh, the orientation of the paper and you print it to pdf and you can share it to the appropriate personnel or people or the responsible people or the relevant people we'll come back here and click on that once again uh, yeah it is here 
Now what I'm going to do, I'll click inside here to load the, a preview of my drawing. I'll click on inside there to load the preview to pre to load the preview. Just ten within seconds you'll see the preview here. Here is the preview of the drawing. Let me just make it slightly bigger. And here it is. Here is the drawing. And uh, the, the paper size you can set here. Just click inside here and you can pick on the appropriate size. I can pick A2 or A3 and give it time to load. Uh, you can also just leave it for the system to pick on the appropriate size by selecting auto and you can see it's not fitting properly i'll come here and give it appropriate size f4 and wait and see how it, it is fitting now let me give it a3 that's much better once that has been done We'll go ahead and uh, print these by clicking on this button, cl uh, print the drawing. And also you can check these two options so that the moment you print, it will be able to open automatically. I'll click print and give you some time to process the information. It has failed because we have a similar file on its destination. Now, I'll just click OK. And the file is here now we can open this file because it is a similar file or they're sharing a name but that is the process of converting this or or printing the or printing this to a virtual printer pdf now the drawing that we, we we just converted to pdf is here this one here now this one you can send to you can share it to any person that doesn't have an or I mean AutoCAD or or a Tecla structure, and he has the capability of interpret of interpreting drawings or reading drawings, or pick some information from the drawings. Now this is that is the process of printing on virtual printer. One of them is the PDF. Let me just fit it to the screen, and this is how it looks. Let me just bring it close, bring it close. Now this is the uh, framework where uh, the advertisement canvas will be fitted on. You can see the, the ground clearance from here going all the way to this uh, to, the, to the bottom end is six meters. That is the, the standard required for, for clearance. From zero level going to the very top end of our frame is 10 meters and uh, the full length of our frame is eight or uh, is eight meters by four meters. Remember, it is a V-shaped flag. Flag type. Flag type means uh, the frame is not symmetrical. You can see as one side is big, one side is very small, and that's it. Let me just minimize this, and we'll go straight to uh, to the drawing and create another one. Let me just click on empty screen to remove all these. I'm retaining this because I, I don't want to lose my master drawing catalog window. I'll close this for the time being. Let me just close this, click on, on close. And I'll click yes here to save my settings there. Let me just click on this, left, left click on this and uh, press left button and hold. Then I'll, and minimum, I'll maximize this. Now the next step we are going to do, we are going to generate assembly drawing. We'll just pick one one part of this and uh, show you how to create that using the, the master drawing catalog. Let me go straight to, to master drawing catalog just here. Let me just close this. That's not it. I'll come back here and click master drawing catalog. If it's not appearing, we'll just end here, and here it is. We'll go to assembly drawings. I'll scroll up. I'll not scroll up. I'll pick on the stored searches. I'll click on that. 
then pick on you can pick on the clone cloning templates you can pick either on this you can pick on this or you can pick on the assembly drawings we'll work with the assembly drawings and prior to picking the options we we'll first of all select the part that you want to generate drawings from as an assembly this 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 one and this one is an assembly now let's go ahead and, and press alt and and click on that i'll come back to assembly and scroll down and uh, I'll scrolls all the way to the standard option yeah just yeah, scroll down to standard option just down here and just grab this and uh, run all the way bottom end here And just scroll down scroll down the bottom end i have the standard here once i've picked on that i'll go straight and click generate or create drawings we'll give it time to process the information you can see here one drawing has been created here now we'll follow it up on uh, the drawing list we'll click on this and come to this drawing standard and double click on it to open the uh, to open our drawing just give it time to open up perfect now we'll go ahead and minimize this by clicking on this minimize button just mouse over if it's not still active just wait now here we here we are and for now we can get rid of this because we don't want to use the master drawing catalog once again this is enough this is what we wanted and uh, we want to it's, it's slightly juggled up and uh, we need to comb it slightly and uh, everything has been given and we, get, we have to get rid of anything that is re repetitive like this one this and this is repetitive we'll get rid of this one just click on it right click and come to delete this information this view also uh, this view is enough we get rid of this we don't need this right click and delete that that has been deleted and this this dimension that looks as an imaginary dimension get rid of it of, of it by clicking delete we'll delete that and also we'll delete this imaginary dimensions we're not seeing where they're starting from and where they're ending click on that right click and delete also this right click and delete perfect and continue doing the same thing removing any unnecessary dimension and leave the important ones right click and get rid of it perfect now here you can see everything looks small and and our our intention here is just to comb it slightly to me to make it much more appealing what we're going to do i'll just once i've clicked on it on this on on this drawing i'll just press my left button on the mouse and drag it up to a position that i'll be able to uh, 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 comb it properly still the selection is active if you take a look the drawing is not upright what i'm going to do i want to rotate it and to rotate it just right click and come to rotation rotate view and click on rotate view and i want to rotate view this at 180 degrees i'll click rotate i'll click rotate once again perfect 
we will not work with that angle we'll work with 90 for now we'll go ahead and click rotate and click rotate once again again perfect go ahead and close this now this is what we wanted we wanted this and it's quite short we want to uh, uh, tecla structure has shortened all the measurements but it's giving the full measurements here we'll just double click on it so that we we stretch out the drawing to read full measurements and full size with some bit of scaling i'll come to second button attribute 2 and come to shortening here you can see cut parts it's been given an okay by by, by selecting yes by a default by system now we want to we, we don't want to cut the parts we want to parts to appear in full i'll click i'll select no then come here and modify that click modify button and you'll see that stretching out but the moment it stretches out it's way out or it's so big or it's so bigger than our title block frame what we'll do here once again we'll come back to attribute one and change the scale to 20 make it a bit smaller that make make it make uh, will make it able to fit inside our title block frame i'll come back here and apply and accept the changes by clicking the OK button. Here we are. It has placed itself inside our drawing. Now let me just drag it slightly, though it has fit. Its fit it has placed it has placed itself properly. Now I'll double click here just to comb the the dimensions here. I'll uh, pick on the straight and pick the conventional way of placing these dimensions. I'll I'll get I'll do away with the cumulative dimensions. I'll leave that the way it is. I'll leave this one also the way it is. The way it is, I just leave it. Now I'll drag these ones. I'll click on this. I'll click on this part and drag it inside our drawing. Inside there, let me just leave it right there and also bring this inside our title block frame. I'll uh, drag it inside and place this somewhere, somewhere here. Let me just drag it and place it some, somewhere here right there is okay and also let me just click this also click on this click on that and hold it from that corner and take it just next to it, to this one here and leave it here that's okay now we target another part that is easy remaining and put it inside. We just scroll up. Perfect. We leave it at that. Just bring this close so that we comb it further. Now close this. We we'll close this. Or we'll just leave it the way it is. You can see the dimension is cumulative. And to combo this, just double click on the dimensions and come to appearance here. Come to appearance and you can change that to, to black and I'll just leave the, the default color, but I'll change uh, the change change these cumulative dimensions to this conventional way and uh, click modify. You can see that. And also double click on that double click on this to change the dimension style I'll click modify apply and accept
perfect you can see this and this also can be exported or printed on a virtual printer in I mean on PDF and be shared to relevant parties or re relevant people and at this point I'll wind up and thanks a lot for watching this channel and video and this video if you have an issue or problem please place that comment and I'll be able to respond back to you I'm Maurice Dimba and bye bye don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new and let's enjoy training on learning tecla structures bye bye let's meet then